Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to adjust your car mirrors. In this video, I will be showing you how to adjust the three main mirrors in your car. It's actually a really simple process, so let's get right to it. I'm going to start off by telling you how to adjust the outside mirrors, the wing mirrors right here. So there's one on the driver's side right here and then one on the passenger side. Now when you are adjusting your mirrors, the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you are in the position that you will be driving in. You don't want to adjust your mirrors leaning forward because if you're driving like this on a regular basis, you're going to want to keep your body like this. So I'm going to put the camera right where my eyes are and I'm going to show you what you should be looking for when you are adjusting your mirrors. Let's get right to it. We'll start off with the uh, driver's side mirror. So the driver's side mirror is actually already in the perfect position. As you can see right here about one quarter of the mirror uh, allows me to see the rear quarter panel of my car so right now this little bit of white here is my vehicle and then this bit over here allows me to see down the car be beside me so it allows me to see the lane beside me if I was driving on the street right now you would be able to see I would be able to see the cars that are in the lane beside me behind my car so that's the ideal mirror adjustment you want one third to one quarter to be showing the side of your vehicle and then the rest of it should be angled so that you can see the lane beside you. Now if we take a look on the passenger side you can see that we have some adjustment to do right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it properly so look at that passenger side mirror I'm going to bring it in so that I can actually see a little bit of my vehicle so I'm moving it inwards you see the little bit of white right there so right there I'll use my finger to show you right there is my vehicle about a third to a quarter of the mirror right now shows the side of my vehicle and then the, the rest of the mirror the remaining part shows the lane beside me so now I'm able to see See all of the cars that are driving in the lane beside me behind my car so that's how you adjust the side mirrors it's actually a really simple process now for the rear view mirror let's see if we can get this to show um, it's not really uh, doing a great job because there's a little bit uh, of a lighting issue right now I'm gonna try and move my head so what you want to look for and hopefully you can see this in the camera right now the, the the rear view mirror right here is just showing all of the window you want it to show for the most part as much of the rear windshield as possible so I'll turn the camera around because I know that it's probably pretty hard to see this uh, in the video so what you when you look into that rear view mirror what you want to do is you want to be able to see that rear windshield you want to be able to see the cars behind you through the rear windshield over there so right now that is where it is positioned but because of the poor lighting in this video I apologize I'm gonna try and get it to auto adjust right here no it's not working but what you want to do is you want to adjust it so that you can see out the rear windshield so once again if I turn around you want to be able to look like that you want to be able to see that when you're looking in the rear view mirror it's actually a really really simple process if I bring the camera really close you can see what I'm looking at right there and you can see my face so you can see the rear windshield that I'm talking about when you look directly into the rear view mirror when you are in your driving position you want to be able to look out that rear windshield that you see right there but that's basically it. Those are the three mirrors, the three main mirrors of your car. And those are, that is how to adjust them properly uh, so that you can get the optimal view uh, of the cars beside you and behind you. And that's basically it. I really hope that you have enjoyed this driving tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But I did my best either way. If you really enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more awesome content like this. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this video and if you have a little trick that you use to adjust your car mirrors quickly and easily. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.